Okay, so right off the bat, sector shuffle is 652431. this down okay so this is Metroid Fusion Max I tried to make it as hard as possible you can see the settings on the left there this is gonna be a lot of firsts for me I have never done Difficulty 5 in my life, and I've never done power bombs before bombs before. That's not a guarantee, I don't think, but it can happen. Which would be interesting. Now, I've been told that bosses in Difficulty 5 are a lot more likely to drop majors, so I'll fight every boss. And even if they only drop missile packs, that's still important because you need missiles potentially to defeat Ridley. So I'm basically going to collect everything except for power bombs. Right, what are we starting with here? More false start. Okay. That's right, that's the big question. Will we see Plasma on Ridley? Or even worse, Charge Beam on Ridley. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. If I find power bombs before bombs, I'm picking up every power bomb tank I can. But I think we'll know that pretty soon. You know, I just realized... No, I can't fight Arachnus yet. I can't get past the Eidor. Or, hang on. Actually, I could fight Arachnus right now, right? It's the core, never mind. I cannot defeat the core. That's the problem. All right, scratch that. Let's just move on. Man, what a weird situation. I'm like itching to kill a boss in a fusion rando. Okay, well, it's not power bombs before bombs. What a pointless setting that turned out to be. Maybe next time. I am not sure how many missiles, like fully powered missiles, you would need to kill Ridley. I'm sure it's a ton. You know, I could go four right away. Is that too bold? That's too bold. I'm going this way. One hundred fully powered missiles, wow. More than a hundred, okay. Well. I think we'll try to get to like 120 to be safe. So yeah, much like with the uh, Arachnus thing earlier, if I'm making some kind of a mistake, this is not a race. Please feel free to backseat. I could use all the help I can get. I'm gonna go here right away before I forget. God, 
God, everything hits so hard. I might be dead. <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I got hit by the little spiny enemy, and I got hit by a slug, and I'm just dead. It's all over. Alright, let's try again. I kind of want to skip that missile pack, but I really, really can't. It's a really bad idea. Who is stronger, Samus or Soma? I have no idea. I've never been too per, uh, super enthralled by these like character power comparisons because the thing is, there is literally no answer to that question. So it's more of a debate exercise. And I think people take that way too seriously. You know, funny enough, enemy damage is 100% vanilla. Fusion is just a hard game. Everything hits like a truck. Come on. Yeah, in vanilla you do get some relatively early E tanks which help. But Sector Shuffle really kind of shows you how tough enemies in this game are. That's huge. I need that. Alright, I think it's a major. Let's go. So this is a tough call. Do I head down or do I head up? I think I gotta head up with high jump. Good call. Alright, so check out this route. Very big brained play. I'm going immediately back to main deck. Always check main deck. Uh -huh. A Julia centered game. I'm still holding out hope, but yeah. Odds are it's never gonna happen. Which is too bad. for one major and if no major a lot of missiles would also be great
Well, it's a lot of missiles, yeah. Alright, I couldn't get this in a speed run. Can I at least get it in the rando? Worst possible luck. Nope, not quite. Yup! Yeah! Let's go. So much time save. Never mind the fact that the bad luck cost me like 10 seconds and that saved me like two. But I got it. Well, this has been a bust. I'm not sure about the frame count. I just know it's impossible. I wish I could give you more info. Good Arachnus. Didn't quite get the double there. <laughs> Power bomb tank, damn. Not even in a max is this worthwhile. Alright, so I think I'll go to four. I think that sounds good. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not really a huge fan of enemy randomizer in general. And that might be due to my speedrunning experience. But I like when it comes to typical randomizers. You've got constants and you've got variables. And if you shake things up too much, it can be a lot of fun, like a Dawn Max. But for like a race, I'd rather have vanilla enemies for sure. I can't do this yet. I think it's just too much that's variable. And it's kind of nice how you can like, you know, the enemies are fixed. It's kind of like the level design being fixed. You know what obstacles are coming up. So not only is it more predictable, it kind of makes you better at the game because those skills are more transferable. Enemy randomizer, not really. In fact, enemy randomizer can teach you bad habits. Here we go. All that being said, yeah, it'd be really cool to have that as an option. But for me, I wouldn't be, like, dying for it. Double major? I mean, wave beam's not terrible. Uh, that, on the other hand, is fantastic. Okay, sure. I think that's it for power bomb tanks, though. Now, if it's not obvious, one of the main movement fundamentals in fusion, you want to stay grounded as often as possible. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but for example, it's faster to run up to a ledge and do a short hop and a ledge snap. 
than it is to jump. Jumping has the shorter distance, but it's slower. I'm gonna take this. Now, I wonder if that um, damage check is more likely to be something in difficulty 5. Oh, alright, one more power bomb tank. Haven't gone for this in a while. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Yo, let's go. I love that trick. I kind of need those missiles, though. I have not gotten to that part in the speedrun. It does save a lot of time in the actual speedrun. In a few places. Alright, so just one more check, but speed booster made this 100% worth it. Where to now? I think it's gotta be two. It's the only thing I can do right now. Other Metroid games? No, it's not gonna happen. Um, I do want this to remain a Castlevania-focused stream. But I want to add a little bit of variety, too. So kind of like one Metroid. I could go three, actually. Um, yeah, let's do it. Sorry, I was talking to myself. But like one Metroid is good. One Mega Man is good. One Kirby is good. If I start picking up too much, though, it's so hard to juggle around. Like, I feel like people sometimes underestimate the amount of work that goes into uh, playing games competitively. It is uh, very typical for me to like not get a lot of sleep because I'm just grinding out strats for a game I'm learning. That's very standard. I can't say it's the healthiest way to do things, but it's all about the work you put in. Casually, I don't really play games casually much anymore. Maybe a few games a year. Uh, I need this. This room with a wave beam is awful. Oh my god, it's gravity. I might get a better time in this max seed than I did in the race earlier. Maybe. Fine, I had to wait anyway. Yeah. 
Uh, is it even worth going down here? No. I tried that last time, it really didn't work out in a very similar situation. I'm gonna hold off until ice of some kind. Hello, Mina. Maybe good luck. Wait a minute, Mina, weren't you here earlier? Oh, I see, you're signing off. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna try my best. It's gonna be a good race, I think. How is he not dead? What the heck? Are you kidding me? No! I uh, have to reset. <laughs> that lose a lot of progress. What a joke! How many missiles do I need here? That was such a good fight. Um, well, do I even bother? I'll get gravity and maybe leave, actually. That was the uh, only major I picked up. Very sad, very sad. Alright, so I do have to memorize all the boss HP tables. I have no idea what boxes is. Couldn't even guess at it. But it's more than like 25, 27 missiles in that ballpark. I think this is missiles down here. The best thing to do here is uh, reset the room. I somehow bonked here. I'm gonna blame Wave Beam for that. Hmm, I should have done this first. And yeah, the missile upgrades are separate. This is gonna be very awkward. Let me try it like this. There we go. Uh, oops. <laughs> God. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong ever since Box killed me. Alright, this time. Thank you.
Okay, so finally caught back up. I will take my leave. And I think it's time for Sector 1. Now, in Sector 1, I could just head down immediately. Is there any downside to that? I'm not sure there is. Let's try it. This is a new route idea. Why does that hurt me? Is that a Varia issue? Must be a Varia thing, a randomizer Varia thing. That's well, fine. Nice. It's not a skill issue. <laughs> I wasn't skillful enough to resist the lava damage. It's my bait. Okay, uh, I'm gonna skip those missiles. Actually, I really shouldn't. I'm gonna grab him. Look at that, those speedrun strats already helping out in Rando. Feels great. Ah, oh, that's not worth it. So far, I'm having a lot of fun with five. It's hard to tell. I think I'll probably do a couple more of these before I decide on if I want to make this standard. I think most people nowadays race on five. God, am I really gonna go through all this for a missile pack? No. No, 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 that one I'm gonna skip. I gotta pick my spots where I'm skipping. Yo, the double, I've gotten two doubles in this rando. And I got zero in speed runs, you've gotta be kidding. Well, at least I'm getting them. That is by far the harder one. Oh my god, I got a double here as well. Nice. Yeah. 
Another missile pack, why not? I'm already up to almost like, triple digits. What's the, does anyone know offhand the max number of missiles in the game? Almost. There we go. 200 plus. All right, so. It's not like we're getting 80% of the missiles by the end. 250, okay. That's fine. And then I think max number of power bombs is like 78. It makes sense in the context of fusion. But out of context, that sounds hilarious. Uh, doing well, Alamov. How are you? I think this route worked out, yeah. Now I can just grab these other checks on the way back. Please. Okay, um, I got a decision to make here, and my decision is, it's gotta be Sector 2. I can't get too cute here. Really wanted to go 6. You know what, it's my playthrough. I'm going to Sector 6. It's what I want to do, it's where I want to be. I'll love him, sorry. Once this uh, totally does not pay off at all, I will load my save and go to two. Oh my god, it's big time. Finally, all of these missiles are usable. No way? Oh my god, Alamov. Hopefully you can forgive me now that I've found two question marks. Unreal. Why wasn't this a race? O to one. I still gotta be careful. I've got Novaria. What a dodge! Good gameplay. Sometimes the best way to dodge is to just stay put. I have seen Varia here before. Health is looking truly awful, but oh my god, it's another major. Varya. I'll take that too, thank you. Thank you. 
This is an absolutely loaded six. However, regrettably, I might be uh, losing all this. How do I survive, Pam? There's no setup for this, I'm just going for it. <laughs> Alright. How do I survive this? With Novaria. I have an idea. I think maybe power bombs are good here. Let's see if this works. Well, I'm definitely gonna keep all this, so let me save. My favorite sector is Sector 6. I think it's got great vibes. It's got a cool boss. It's got some great shortcuts. <laughs> you know what, that kind of worked, actually. Yeah, not bad. So power bombs are a good defensive tool for that climb. You can at least stun a few of them. Oh my god. Yep. Alright, it's so overall very productive. Yeah, the bottom of four is also great. That's on my short list, too. Well, that's a uh, screw I keep forgetting. You can't break that normally. I'm definitely going to hit the recharge station coming up. You know what, with power bombs, all of once again, my apologies, I'm just going with my gut here. I think five is the right call. It's gonna be early Varya. Check this out. Hey, what's up, Nitro? I mean, if it's not here, I have to leave. <laughs> oh my god! That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Alright, so, like I said, now... <laughs> go ahead and uh, get those red doors. Actually, not quite. No diffusion yet. But not to worry, we're gonna find diffusion or screw. Actually, you know, I could go. I could go secret message route. Alright, well, I'll do the rest of this, but that's an option. I think I'm ready for it. Uh, I did not mean to go in there.
Oh, this might be a major. <laughs> this is a good game. Big fan of Metroid Fusion. Alright, so now all I need is charge and plasma. But where or where could they be? You know, it's been so nice so far. <laughs> All this stuff, literally one check away from go mode. I already know where charge is, okay? I have no illusions about where charge is. It's at Ridley. It's a guarantee it's a lock. Doing these checks just as an obligation and hopefully to get some more missiles. Nice. I think I should have enough by now. My max is 110. Actually, hopefully I get two more. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight from here to Ridley. Now, is it quicker to go to space to Ridley? Or is it quicker to go to Sector 1 to Ridley? I have no idea. So I did what I could over here, but I'm gonna have to backtrack now. Or, actually, never mind. I'll uh, head to three. All right, this is two, okay. I suppose I'll try out a little Crumble City. Take a peek over here. Wouldn't this be a great go mode? Oh, 
Uh, nice recovering. Cool. I'll take 10 missiles. Is that the worst room infusion? It might be. I just think the sheer audacity they had to make a room like that, it is funny. And it is kind of a cool challenge, but it's also kind of bad. I don't know, mixed feelings. Alright, so I have elected to go to space. And uh, while I'm here, I'm going to get the yellow stuff, just in case. Okay, yeah, this is good, because uh, before I fight Ridley, I do need to get... Oh, wait, man, I don't have ice yet. I need to get ice and diffusion for the power boost. Hmm... This has been a weird day. Ice has been surprisingly important and yet very hard to find. In both seeds. Alright, so I'm good on missiles here. I just need those upgrades. I think I'm gonna start skipping at 150 to be extra safe. Also, E tanks are gonna be very nice because Ridley's hard in this game. Hey, what's up, Luca? Thank you for the good luck. I gotta say, speed runs went a little bit better than expected. They weren't good. But I was getting stuff with some amount of consistency. Except for Double Idor. Well, now what? Maybe I do go back to Sector 2 and try to get some missile upgrades first. Alright, I'm gonna go back to two. This seems like the responsible move. Okay. 
God, Plasma can one-shot these uh, slugs with Wave and Spazer. That's crazy. I know Plasma's strong, but it really goes to show how good this particular beam upgrade is. It's like 10 times the damage, no exaggeration, as your standard beam. And yeah, agreed, the beam itself looks great. The like double helix pattern, very cool. This is, uh, well it's not pointless, is it? Yeah, it's pointless. I will fight the boss, though. Ah, uh, you know, I might as well grab this. It's right here. No way. Okay, good. Now, I think I have enough at 40 power per missile to kill Ridley. I would like 45. I don't think it's going to be necessary. Fun fact, did you know the number of hops on this boss is random? <laughs> you thought the eye doors were bad. Here you go. Was that a five hop? I think that's worst luck. Missile tank is nice. Missiles and missiles. All right. <laughs> then I'm going to Ridley. Good practice for the eventual 100% speedruns. Not quite. I don't know how Scotty does that so easily. You can get this with one shine spark. Okay, so yeah, back to Sector 5. I'll pick up that Major with the Ice Missiles. Hopefully Diffusion. Obviously Charge Beam is best, but that's at Ridley guaranteed. Yo, there's two in here. Quick peek.
Okay, this might be the last major check of the whole playthrough right here. I'm excited. Ice beam. That's great. That's really nice. What that means is the Ridley fight will be even louder than normal. It's great. It was literally right there. No reason not to pick it up. All right, off we go to space. Here we go. Diffusion in space? Sure. Yeah, you can do a max request, of course. I'd love to do more of these. Oh, all I'm of. You can actually request it right now. It's been live for a few weeks. Yeah, no problem. There's also a page on the uh, queue as well. I think we're pretty much cut up with fusion. Maybe a couple more. See, the bosses have not been good. I think the whole bosses have majors is overplayed, except for Ridley, who, like I said, is guaranteed to have charge bin. Here we go! What's it gonna be? Better than a powerbomb tech. So for me, the only remaining question, is it at Ridley proper? Or is it at the checks around Ridley? Yeah, the space check is my single favorite check in the game. It's also the best shortcut in the game. Bloodstain, sadly, I think it's a very good game. But there's too much Castlevania to be played. So I will not be trying that out anytime soon. 
If there is a sequel, however, that will change. I'll definitely get into that more. I think this is literally the fastest way of killing this thing. Here we go. Well, it's not here. Okay. Let's go, Ridley. The problem with betting on Creature and Soden is that it would have to be very early on because, you know, we tend to do races for that. And you wouldn't want to accidentally give things away. But, I agree, like at the very start of a race, we could make that a new normal. All right, let's go. Now remember, it's very important to turn your volume up for this fight. For reasons I'm not entirely sure about, the uh, audio balancing on this fight is very poor. I guess because it was GBA audio, maybe they expect people to use headphones, but it's really quiet, so. I crank it up. Come on, Ridley, you gotta speak up! I've gotta worry a little bit about accuracy here. <laughs> Ah, come on, it's fine. I got so many extras, it's fine. Okay, how can I get grabbed at a screw? It's not fair. I'm getting owned. I'm getting positively owned. Right, I'm spamming. First time I've ever defeated Ridley in a rando. Oh man. No, no, no. This Ridley is actually so hard without Charge Beam. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> that was a super Metroid finish. Alright. <laughs> God damn it, Ridley. God damn it. Now I have even more missiles. Alright, so if you tell me that this uh, charge beam is in just some random location, what is the point of difficulty 5? I guess the point of difficulty 5 is that you play it like normal, then if you exhaust all your checks, you go to Ridley? I've talked about it before, but the randomizer, a lot of people agree, definitely needs an update to make bosses more relevant. It's really sad. Poor Ridley. It was a great fight, though. I had a lot of fun. Ridleyan scientist. Speaking of scientist, I could go to sector three right now. 
sure why not. There is no waiting in this randomizer, not really. Not like in some of the Castlevanias I play. In fact, if there is waiting, it's the opposite of what you'd like, where it tends to be front-loaded. So the correct route is almost always just stay where you are and keep at the early sectors. I mean, I feel like the quote-unquote optimal way to play, like, a difficulty 5 race is to just not get any missiles, right? Right? Because, like, your opponent will pick up a lot of missiles. <laughs> Box data room go mode. Anyway, this is kind of bad. Uh, so yeah, what you do is you just don't get missiles. Your opponent, playing the quote-unquote logic, grabs a lot of missiles, and then you win. Because you're saving minutes on missiles. That is a little bit silly. Uh, nice gameplay. Alright. There is a reason the ongoing Metroid Fusion Tournament is a planned randomizer tournament. Because, wow, this current randomizer is so luck-dependent. But it is a great time. Even when Ridley gives you a missile tank. Alright. I'm sure we'll do another max soon. It's a me problem for wanting to highlight the game's best aspect. Or at least one of its best aspects, the excellent combat. And then the randomizer makes that irrelevant. It's not my fault. Dev issue. Hey, look, I would have done Yakuza, if needed, but then box room was coma. <laughs> Um, it's floating, nice. Maybe I'm doing the missile too early. I have no idea. I'm pretty happy with just charge beam here. Hang on. 
It's fine. I got time. We're in no real rush here. There is uh, no way I die. Alright, check this out. Here we go. I've never gotten this before. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yo! Yes! Let's go! What a finish! Just call me Scotty. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I somehow die here, I'm gonna get to 100. Now, I'm curious, can you run into the Omega at 1 HP and die? I think I asked this before, but no one was sure. Because no one's ever done that. <laughs> I'm not gonna find out. Perfect. Yes, you can. Ouch. Um, oh, hang on. This is cool. <laughs> Samus, you gotta untransform if you want to get in your ship. <laughs> no, Samus. You gotta press up. Why doesn't this work? Alright, that was a lot of fun. Thanks everybody for the tips and the hints, they were all very helpful. Um, I do like that setting, I liked having more missiles. It is a bit lame that if Ridley is required, the optimal route is to go pick up the missiles after you exhaust the rest of the game, but I think playing that way for fun, where you're grabbing the missiles and then fight Ridley if needed, is a cool way to do it. <laughs>